Hello friends, today's question, a block of mass 4 kg is pressed against a rough wall by two perpendicular horizontal forces F1 and F2 as shown in the figure. Coefficient of static friction between the block and the wall is 0.6 and that of kinetic friction is 0.5. So we have to calculate these four things. For F1 300 and F2 100 Newton, find the direction and magnitude of frictional force on the block. And for this same data, we have to find out what will be acceleration. In the C part, now the F1 force is 150 and F2 is 100 Newton. Once again, we find out the direction of and magnitude of frictional force acting on the block. And for C data, we have to find out what will be the acceleration. Okay. So, Let us consider part A. And let's draw the figure. So we have this little block. F1 is being applied in this direction. And F2 will be applied in this such a direction that it will be going into the block and let us represent it by this way. So this will be our F2. In the downward direction, we are going to have Mg. And because of this F1 force, the ripple normal, let us call it N1. So here, the normal N1 will be equal to the applied force F1, you can say that the normal N1 will be equal to the applied force F1. Therefore, we can say that our N1 is equal to 300 Newton. Now, block will be having the tendency to move in the downward direction. So, let us find out what will be the maximum value or the limiting value of friction. We can say that. Limiting or we can say maximum value of the friction force, let us call it as FR max, which will be equal to mu static multiplied by normal N1 and n1 is, is equal to f1 and static is given as 0.6 this is 100 newton so sorry f1 is 300 yeah so this is 300 so we can say that fr max will be equal to 180 newton This is the maximum limiting value of the friction. So part A, we are taking F1 as 300 Newton and F2 is taken as 100 Newton. Next, let us find out what will be the value of the net force that will be acting on the block. say net force acting on the block okay. now there will be two forces one will be mg which is acting in the downward direction and there is f2 which is acting into the block 
so net forcing acting block will be equal to let us call that f net and we can write that our f net will be equal to mg whole square plus f2 whole square we substitute the value mass is given as 4 kg so this will be 40 plus f2 is over 100 so we get this as f net as this will be approximately equal to 107.8 newtons and we are supposed to find out what will be the direction and magnitude of frictional force. Okay. Now we are going to compare the maximum value of the friction with the net value of the force. Okay. Let us call this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. So comparing equation 1 and equation 2 we get that the value of the friction fr max is greater than the net force which is acting the block so at least from here we can say that there will be no slipping between the block and the wall. Therefore, The acceleration of the block will be equal to zero. Thus, the acceleration of block will be equal to zero. <coughs> and from here also, we can say that the value of the frictional force, value of force let us call it fr this fr will be equal to the net force fr will be equal to f net which is equal to 107.8 newtons so this is the value of the frictional force and we are going to find out direction also so in order to find out direction let us so this is the direction of our f2 which is our 100 newton and in the downward direction we are going to have mg which is our 40 newton therefore let us call this a theta so from here we can say that theta will be equal to tangent inverse of 40 divided by 100 which is equal to tangent inverse of 2 by 5 so let me write here theta is equal to tangent inverse of 2 by 5 this is the direction of frictional force direction of frictional force fr whose magnitude is 107.8 newtons okay so magnitude is given by this and we have the direction as theta now for part c we have changed the value of 
F1 and F2. F1, F2 it means same, whereas F1 becomes equal to 150 Newton. You can say for part C. Part C and D, let us combine them. Now, F1 is our 150 Newton and F2 is 100 Newton. So in this case, the value of normal is going to change as the value of F1 is changing. Okay, you can say the value of normal N1 which will be equal to F1 now will be equal to 150 Newton and therefore the limiting value of the friction will also change thus the limiting or we can say maximum value of frictional force which is let us call that once again fr max this will be equal to mu static multiplied by over n1 so we get our fr max is equal to static is given as 0 0.6 and now f1 is n1 is a 150 so from here we can say that our fr max will be equal to 90 newton now as the value of f2 is same so therefore the value of net force will be also same you can say the net force net force acting on the block F net will be equal to 107.8 Newton. Let us call the equation number 3 and this as equation number 4. So making comparison between equation 3 and 4. So comparing Equation 3 and 4, we get that the value of F net, or we can say value of frictional force F max, is less than F net. So from here, we can say that the block will accelerate. From here we can say the block will try to accelerate with, let us suppose with acceleration which is given as A. Next can say the value of the frictional force the value of frictional force that is of fr will be equal to fr max fr will be equal to fr max and fr max is our 90 Newton okay. and let us find out direction okay. 
this will be theta so we have f2 which is our 100 and we have mg and which is our 40 so here we can say theta is equal to tangent inverse of 40 divided by 100 or we can say theta is equal to tan inverse of 2 by 5 this will be the direction this is the magnitude of frictional force and this is the direction of frictional force direction of frictional force now let's calculate the acceleration we already calculated the direction of the frictional force okay. so the direction frictional force is in this direction uh, sorry the direction of the you can say the net force is in this direction so this is our f net so we are going to have the frictional force in opposite direction let us call that as frk and from here we can say and traveling with the acceleration a in the downward direction in along this line so we can say from here that for acceleration a we can write the formula that m a will be equal to f net minus fr kinetic let us find out the value of kinetic friction okay so we can say that the value of kinetic friction fr k will be equal to mu k multiplied by the value which is our you can say the kinetic friction so the coefficient is given as 0.5 it's given as 0.5 so let us substitute the value of 0.5 and that will be normal n1 so this will be 0.5 multiplied by n1 n1 was equal to f1 so in this case the f1 is our 15 one second let me check Yeah, 150. 150. So here we get as uh, this will be coming as 75 Newton. So we can see that our acceleration is equal to F net is 107.8 minus 75. And mass is given as 4 kg. So from here we get this acceleration A will be approximately equal to 8.175 meter per second square. Okay. This is the acceleration of the block. So this completes the question. Thank you.